Who got it going on? You're dead wrong. Gun smoke, gun smoke. Gun smoke, gun smoke. Gun smoke, gun smoke. Chevrolet Captiva or Holden Captiva 7 is a wonderful family vehicle and it has a lot of things improved from the first Captiva. The new edition looks more aggressive, more brutal and is a little bit fatter than the previous one. In Australia the second Captiva looked much better than the CIS region. Even with the small changes you can feel the huge difference. Many consumers say that it's better than Koreans such as Santa Fe or Sorrento. For me this advantage is the height. It's too low for SUV. Every time when you drive over the bump or any kind of obstruction in your road, you have this horrible feeling of scratching the car. Design at the back is the same as the first one. The only thing that they added is three letters. In Australia, the back headlights were much better and also in Korea. But I don't know why the GM decided to give CIS region the most horrible headlights in the world. Just look at them. Yeah. The leather is very nice. It is much better than in BMWs that was produced in beginning of 2010, like 2011, 2012. Also, and it has stitching. That's nice. What I really like about the dashboard in the car that is really quiet. In the first generation Capsilas, the dashboard was always talking to you. It's like rattling, strange noises. Here it's very solid, really quiet and nice uh, sound isolation. And the design of the dashboard is pretty beautiful. You cannot say anything bad about it. It's nice when I look at it and the materials, I know it's a cheap car and plastic and stuff like that, but it's not so horrible, it's bearable, you know? It's really even comfortable. At the back there's a lot of space, a lot of space, even for your head. The only thing that I really don't get about interior is the back seats. So you can get no problem there by your, by your own, but if you want to get out, the seats will not fully open. Maybe something broken in our test car, please write in the comments. But interior is really, really nice. I really like that interior. It's huge, very huge. And of course, only one cup holder for the backseat passenger. Only one, so you have to share it. Sometimes sharing your beverages is a little bit disgusting. But Jim thinks it's okay. Engine generates 255 brake horsepower, 288 Nm meters, and it goes from 0 to 100 km in 7.5 seconds. Also it has 6-speed automatic transmission. What I like about this engine is that it's not 3.2 liter that was before. The thing that they change radically is the intake pipe. It doesn't go all over the car right now, all over the engine cover, and there's hot air gumming inside like it was in the first Captiva built nicely on the left side of the engine so airflow goes smoothly to the engine not overheating it and that's a very interesting thing a lot of people complain about the engine chain and they say that it's better to put the chain from the Cadillac that is the same that has the same block the thing I would recommend is to take care of this car really avoid fast acceleration fast starts and don't drive it crazy. Driving, well, driving of this wonderful vehicle is magnificent. It's more luxurious than the first one, the Captiva first edition. And uh, the dashboard is so much quieter. It's just very, very quiet. It's not noisy. There's no rattle noise. And you know, that's a very nice feeling to drive it. You feel more luxurious here. The only downfall of this car is the suspension. It's so hard 
it's really it's very hard and you know the small details that were bad in first Captiva they changed it here and they perfected it seriously they perfected this car it's great family SUV uh, 3 liter V6 pulls very nicely and I just feel good here very nice leather not bad the only downfall of this car is the ride it's so hard it's just painfully hard you know you just hear this you know sh like uh, noises where the tire hit where the tire hits the bumps and it's like boop, boop, boop. it doesn't glide it just drops into each bump it doesn't go smoothly at all the suspension like spoiled child that hates everybody really it's uh, really nasty you know and it's not a very bad road right now it's a little bit uh, clumsy but nothing horrible you know I drive every day through this road and nothing bad happens here but now it's just really really bad it's like really really bad that's the only downside and of course the uh, overall look of the car I really like this car, really, really like this car. I didn't like so much first Captiva, but this one is much better, except of the right control, right quality. I heard my friend got a Captiva, the second one, and he told me that he bought some kind of uh, shock absorbers in America from uh, like GM or somebody, I don't know, like some kind of custom shock absorbers that were that made this car glide significantly and it was very good he said it really I, I drove his car it was like four or five years ago it was so soft I couldn't believe it it was like Range Rover truly it was like Range Rover and I got shocked a little bit I, I didn't believe my eyes what, what I just saw so I really like it I really do like it and I think maybe I will buy this car from the owner. Так, мы сейчас выключили эко режим. Выезжаем на дорогу. Коробка чуть-чуть тормозит. Чуть-чуть совсем. Ну, ништяк она привет. Ништяк. Но 3.2 она была более какая-то эпичная. Мне было больше эмоций. Здесь она хорошо едет, но она более сдержанная. И вы это чувствуете по звуку, по ощущению драйва. На 3.2 там меньше шумоизоляции было, там меньше. Там была хуже доработана торпедка. Поэтому вот этого кайфа не было. Такого беспредельного. Здесь все приятно, все хорошо, но более утихомирено, более такое вот люксовое ощущение есть. Вот. Ну, вся сила идет после 5000 оборотов. Она прям вот так кидает вас назад. Ну, не совсем так, но чуть-чуть тянет она. Хорошая машина. Хорошая. Я очень удивлен. Шумоизоляция здесь намного лучше, чем на первой коптиве. Намного. Здесь вот это... So, uh... Thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, please subscribe to it, click that like button, and do some charity. Never forget about charity. And uh, take care and bye.